Hello, and in this video series, I'm going to be interviewing 9B9T players. In this video, I'm going to be interviewing the leader of Eggschneg, Mineral Water. We were on call for six hours. This was a long episode to film, but I had so much fun talking to him. He is such an interesting dude. I hope you enjoy. Bye. All right, Mineral Water, how are you doing today? Oh, doing glorious. Uh, nothing really much, nothing really happening right now, but uh, still, the, the mood of mine is fine. Yeah, same here. Yep. How long have you been playing 9B9T4, and why did you start playing? Oh, I've been playing Anarchy for more than two years, I believe, but I joined 9B around October 2020, I believe. And okay. <laughs> And the funny story is that at first I joined it to test configs for Pyrocraft, uh, which is kind of dumb of me because I was a new fan, obviously, playing just more over half a year at that point. And, mm -hmm. But upon joining, somebody found, found me on Spawn and recruited to their group. Uh, so I kind of st stuck to non-B, and that's what I've been playing for quite some time. And, that's the server I find the coolest, or among the coolest. Yeah. My personal favorite. I know you play a little bit of uh, 2B2T. Do you play any, uh, any other servers? Yeah, obviously I do. Uh, if we don't count practice servers uh, such as CC, uh, I quite regularly play on oldfag.org. Nice. Uh, yeah, sometimes join other servers, but usually it's. It is limited to helping my friends with something. I don't really play them regularly. So nice. Uh, I've been thinking about checking out choice. some other servers, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we can do old fact together. It's a pretty interesting server. And nice. Good stuff with it. Nice. Has Nomi 9 t had a positive or negative effect on you altogether? Oh, uh, many, many people tend to believe uh, and now is extremely unproductive. Well, for some people it is, but as for me, it has been actually pretty, pretty nice. Since before I joined Anki, I didn't even know English at all. So mm -hmm. basically, uh, the, one of the main reasons I'm playing RMB is to keep up uh, with English and to improve mm -hmm. my level. It is basically the community that helped me to achieve uh, somewhat reasonable level that I have now. Still, I have some some more heights to achieve, but yeah, it was rather positive for me. If you if you don't regard time consumption, but we already spend time on dumb things, so yeah, it is alright. Yeah, your English is amazing. Yeah, thanks. I've been putting a lot of work in, into it. Yeah. So you said the community helped you out with learning English. What do you think of the community altogether? Like a general overview. Mm. Well, uh, it is, as with any community, it's pretty mixed and diverse. There are quite some retards. <laughs> majority, the majority <laughs> is retarded. But that is natural to most anarchy servers. Yeah. Uh, if you talk about established players, then I quite like the community. It's pretty chill, has some general means, names. Uh, frankly, the community has always been the most important thing to consider when I play an anarchy server. Yeah, most uh, definitely. It, it, yeah. Even 2 bt isn't that interesting for me, as for many people, just because I don't have anybody to play it with, at least consistently. And because of that, like after a week of playing with Pryo, I got bored and stuck back to the servers I played before because I've got friends there and it is always more interesting to play with friends than being alone on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, which yeah. is quite silly for me. <laughs> so yeah, I like the community and I enjoy spending, yeah. spending time with it. Every time I've like had a break on 9B, it's because, you know, the group I was in died or my friends stopped playing for a while. So yeah, yeah. same, but I, I has always had some people to play with, even when groups weren't that active, because 
I mean, I know two languages. I'm basically in two communities at the same time. Yeah. So, I I can switch pretty easily. Hmm. So, what's the longest break you've had on Nine T, and do you think you'll ever fully quit? Um, uh, I think at some point we'll a- we will all will have to quit. Um, mm, yes, you know, it's games or for. Ch- for yeah. children, right? But, uh, <laughs> as for me, I don't think that there's a possibility in the near future. I still enjoy NIMB quite a lot. Uh, what was the first question? <laughs> <laughs> What's the longest break you've had? Ah, uh, I think it was around two months since I was away from my PC at that point. Okay. Uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, if screenshots are available, what is your best and worst memory of 9 uh, I have to look through a lot of screenshots because I really have around 5 gigabytes of screenshots. Whoa. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> that's like that, uh, that's like more than all my recordings I have. I've got like I got like 8 gigabytes of recordings. I've got that in yeah. screenshots. Yeah. Wow. But, uh, frankly, it has been 2 years. So a lot have happened during that time. Damn. But the worst memories would be obviously griefing of my bases because it's it, was, it is always heartbreaking where I think you put work into gets destroyed. But uh, personally, I get over it pretty quickly, and it it is not that a big that much of a deal for me. Yeah. Uh, I just I'm I'm that kind of person that uh, just moves on when shit in life happens. Uh, but uh, about the best moments, I would say uh, those were any projects I participated in because um, it is always so rewarding to feel that there are many people working on the same task trying to achieve something. Uh, you feel the unity with your friends. So, yeah. Uh, and if if I were to remember anything particular, um, uh, I would say it was the cube that a base, a spawn base we made back in May 2021. Uh, it was, it was such a great deal. Yeah, I've seen I've seen screenshots about that. I've heard stories about it. Unfortunately, I wasn't there when it was made. I don't think. I believe I have some actually a lot of recordings from uh, from there, uh, and I recorded it with, with replay mod, so. Uh, it is actually quite accurate and detailed. Nice. And some, Hopefully that'll be some. playing over the screen right now. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I just need to find him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So this is a bit more of a thought experiment. If you see a new player who's like brand new, joined within a week, would you kill him, leave him, or would you give him some gapples or something? Hmm. Oh. Uh, I... I have a set rule for new players, what I do with them. Mm-hmm. And it is usually just dependent on my mood or how the new fan acts, acts himself. Uh, if he's begging for kids or being annoying, stands in the way or stuff like that, then I'll probably just kill him. Yeah. Uh, if, if he's proficient with cheats, like... He, uh, for a noob using timer, he's already been quite proficient. I'll mm-hmm. probably let them be, because uh, uh, if they have timer, then they'll have no difficulty to escape again. Yeah. Uh, but I usually give kids only to... Uh, <laughs> I know how, descri- how to describe it, but by body language in the bot game, I can kind of decide whether or not I want to give him a kid, but yeah, it's usually just random. But most of the time, I prefer to kill uh, kill him back. Yeah, because why not? If I ever see like a bot spamming or someone begging for kids, I leave him or kill him. But uh, yeah, but if it's a bot, then there is practically no point in killing them. So I ignore bots. True. Obviously, most of the time I'm just walking by and I just punch him off the edge just for the hell of it. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, but most of them have velocity enabled, so true. It usually doesn't it doesn't even work. 
I just don't find myself uh, uh, spending time on killing bots. Yeah. There are just too many of them. Yeah, but uh, there's been a few uh, exceptions. Like, normally when I uh, fly past, I see someone running, and they're quite they're quite far out from spawn. It's like, they actually put effort in to get this far out. I'll drop a couple of apples. Uh, this one yeah, guy like... who I saw on the server, like, at least three times with, like, full diamond gear is actually doing something for himself. I was like, he's never begged for a kit before. I was like, damn, I'll, I'll drop him something. You know, like, if I see an, an established new fag that has some basic gear, like, yeah, I know. Uh, playing diamond armor or something, I'll, I'll probably just drop a couple gaps. Because yeah. as for me, giving kids is just uh, kind of giving them too much. Yeah. Uh, they have to establish themselves by themselves. Uh, I don't want to like, give them the opportunity to make a huge shortcut. Yeah. So like, usually, if I see some. Uh, some new fact with some basic gear, I would probably give like five gapples. And yeah. Them. I I only ever give out gapples. I've only given out two kits to new players, and one of them was my best friend, so that doesn't even really yeah, count. Make, makes sense. So, what are you doing on 9 t right now? I know you've got a lot of things going on, but you could pinpoint it down to a couple things. No. Uh, I. No. Actually, quite recently, I used to PvP a lot, but that thing wasn't wasn't really that productive and mostly frustrated for me. Yeah. Uh, so I've gone to building. Uh, as of now, I'm building and planning some quite big projects in my single player world, uh, and only with time I'll I'll copy them on uh, B. Uh, as for now. I'm, usually building some sort of map arts or stuff that doesn't require that much effort like spawn bases mm -hmm. usually just uh, stuff that uh, that is regarding chilling at spawn meeting with people sometimes participating in events or st stuff like that yeah uh, i've got a couple projects going on uh, but i can't really tell much about them because most of them are just highway related it's not that interesting. It's just running bots that plays obsidian all day. But yeah, that's what I do. That's what Ginger does a lot of the time. Just placing yeah. placing obsidian along like, highways. Nowadays, it's it is his main thing. He doesn't do anything beside that. Yeah, I respect that a lot because you know someone's got to build the highways. So yeah, like he, now he's a highway god basically. Yeah, he plays so fucking much hobby. I believe. <laughs> Yeah, it's like 20 million, could be more at this point. God damn, that's a lot. To be fair, he has three accounts running at the same time, so... Yeah. Any interesting projects coming up soon that you can discuss? Let me think. I haven't thought about that. Actually, not really, at least not for now. No, it's Since, just... Uh, I think once I... Once I finish my exams, I'll probably do some fight clubs just for friends. Uh, we can do oh, yeah. some stuff on oldfag.org. Yeah. Also a great server. There is a lot of things to do there. Uh, there, are, there are a couple of projects that I want to keep private just for people I, I'm friends with. Yeah, so of course. That's what I can tell. Nice. So, yeah. What's your opinion? On number ninety, update into a newer version like one point sixteen, and will you still play? I think uh, I'll still play, but I believe it's gonna be only reasonable if two B two T updates too, because otherwise we would lose most of our great clients that are uh, that are developed on one point twelve version, and mm -hmm. most of the community would stick to. Uh, 1.12 so i i think a lot of people would quit and yeah. the community would uh, be not as big as it as it is now but if 2bt updated then i think that every every single other clone server should update too it would be really yeah. reasonable but as of now i didn't see that as an, an as an possibility yeah i think 
if we ever like updated before 2B, would get some influx of players because you know it's 1.16 anarchy. That's you know unheard of mostly, and then it yeah. would quickly die out again uh, as enough to wears off. Yeah, probably 2B would have a great sur surge in activity, but uh, those surges don't last for long. No, uh, if if everything I updated to 1.18, I think that would be. That would be hell interesting. Yeah. And there are so many new things to do in new, newer versions. I would love to see that. Hell yeah. And, and uh, luckily, Housemaster seems to have in progress with testing 1.18 at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think within one or two years, it's going to happen. Eventually, yeah. it's in, it's inevitable to stay an old version. Yeah, and with each year, it's uh, it's more likely to update since uh, the hardware gets more and more powerful, so it can support newer versions more easily. Like yeah. recently, Housemaster updated his hardware now uh, to be run smooth as butter. So uh, yeah, I, I think in the near future, it has some chance to happen. Yeah, so I'm gonna run a little bit, a little bit off script here. Uh, you're the current leader of Action Egg, right? Yeah, that's correct. How did you come in with such a title? How did you get there? Well, uh, it's actually quite a funny story because uh, back when I joined, the day one, mm -hmm. uh, I was found with spawn by a person called Half Problems. Some people. Oh yeah. Know him. Oh yeah, I know. Him. Uh, he used to be a quite prominent player. He he quit to pursue studies in the university, but he basically brought me to his group called Arsonist, which mm -hmm. was a an off branch of Action Egg that was disbanded at the time. And when Arsonist died down, mm -hmm. and after after that, uh, the Action Egg was restored uh, with uh, some old people and. They also decided to include a lot of uh, players that joined in Arsona's days, including me. And it, it was mostly due to my help with uh, one great base that we built uh, in Arsona's that was called so, Retard Wheel and Retard Wheel 2. Uh, that was, those were actually two bases. Those were pretty nice, in my opinion. Especially for a base built by new facts. Uh, so that's basically what earned me a place in Action Egg back then. Mm -hmm. All the things has happened because, you know, it has been a year in the group. Uh, so it's, it's pretty natural that after playing for a year, being dedicated to doing some interesting stuff within the group, uh, running projects and stuff, uh, I earned the trust. I earned uh people hearts i would say mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but that's basically how i became the leader in the group i joined back back when it was a new fact yeah and also the second reason is that a lot of old leaders for one reason or another or another had to retire like have problems mca and now in ender cool like I really hope he hung, he comes back, but yeah, as same. Now, I I run the place. I've I've never met Entercall on VC. I've only met him yeah, once he, in Minecraft. Believe it or not, I heard him like once or twice. He's a really quiet dude. Yeah. Yeah. He almost never marks up. Damn. I mean, I believe there's no particular reason. He just doesn't like to do VC. Fair enough. So, if you could say one thing to all of Nambi90, what would it be? Mm, don't get too serious about blog game. It's, <laughs> it shouldn't. It shouldn't be your main focus in life, after all. Because actually, I've seen quite a lot of players that that spend ten ten hours daily playing Nambi, and it is actually quite depressing to see. Yeah, take a break, go to gym. Like that's the biggest advice I can give. 
and Ginger will agree, go to fucking gym. <laughs> I need to do that. <laughs> get, yeah, get get both, mate. All right, I'll de I definitely will. <laughs> nice. All right, so you're here today because Ginger nominated you to be interviewed. Nice. Who would you like to nominate to be interviewed next? Be anyone. I'll, I'll ask anyone. Hmm. That, that's a good question. Make it realistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a, I can't say JJ or. You want me to interview uh, JJ for number three? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I said uh, I said that I can't ask for JJ. Oh, okay. Because it would it would be unre unrealistic. But, uh, uh, let me see. Maybe you should uh, interview Satan. Satan? Or Quentin. Satan or Quentin. All right. Yeah, it's up to you. I'll, I'll interview... Oh, I'll ask Satan first, because I know him better. All right. All right, yeah. That, that's about it, man. Yeah, thanks. It has been a pleasure to be with you here. Yeah, thank you for coming on, man. Yep. All right, I'll see you later, man. See ya. Bye. Whoa. Is that the end of the video?